just got yesterday, Beth. Hey. Okay. I went and picked up my sweater from Scott yesterday, and so I hadn't seen him in forever. It was good to see him. Talk to him. Yeah, it was good to catch up and and um, just see somebody from the gym. <laughs> ah, I felt the same way when I picked up the rack. I mean, I wasn't. I didn't know I was going to pick up a rack. I thought I was just going to pick up a kettlebell. Yeah. And he said he said something about the racks, and I said, "Could I borrow one of those?" <laughs> it was just like, "Wow, okay." Bonus. Yeah, bonus. Yeah, it was just, and we just chatted and chatted. It was good to. I miss it. All right, there might just be four of us today, which is totally fine. I would have did it by myself if I had to. <laughs> All righty, I'm just going to start with the four of us. Um, so welcome everybody. Um, I'm Ryan Peterson. Um, I'm a trainer at Stanley Boxing and Fitness and um, thank you to Aboriginal Sports Circle for asking me to um, you know, do a session here and I'm going to do a body weight HIIT workout. So H-I-I-T stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Um, it uh, you know, burns fat faster and our metabolic rate will be um, working hours after the workout and that's the only really science I know behind it I just I love how I feel after these workouts and um, you know I am very much missing working out with other people so so I'm grateful for this platform so we could come here and work out together um, so we're going to start out with a uh, warm-up and then after the warm up, I will go over the movements we are going to do uh, in the workout. Um, so we need to prepare our bodies for the workout. Uh, it's very important that you warm up before you do any high intensity um, exercise. So we will start. I'm just going to start my time here. Timer, stopwatch. Okay, so we'll start out with um, jumping rope. So just do imaginary jumping rope. We'll do some butt kicks. Do some jumping jacks. Do some high knees. Back to jumping rope. Butt kicks. Jumping jacks. All right, I'm just going to, okay, so we'll just come into some reverse lunges. So lunging back here, want your shin to be nice and straight here, coming back. Driving up through your heel. Okay, 
And then we'll stay down in the lunge here, put this opposite hand down and really feel this stretch here in your hip flexor. And then we're gonna bring this opposite hand and stretch up and then back down, stretch up, back down, stretch up and then back down. And we will rotate to the other leg here. Really feel that stretch in your hip flexor opposite hand up down up nice stretch back down stretch up and down all right so we'll do some squats here so we're just going to sit back nice 90 degree here and then back up All right, so we're gonna do some inchworms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk our hands out, come into a plank position here, and then walk our hands back in. And we'll do five of those. Actually, not sure how many I did it, but we'll go on to the next thing here. So we're going to open our hips up. So really rotate our hips open like this, rotating out. Then we'll rotate in, rotate in. And you could just keep doing that, alternating the legs. Alrighty, we'll do some arm chest openers. So just rotating your arms, opening your arms in front of you here. And we'll do some arm circles from here. So forward, nice and small and get bigger as you go. And then we'll do opposite, so backwards. Nice and small and we'll come into big circles. And we'll end the warm up with a couple push ups. If you want to come down onto your knees, if you want to, or do a regular push up. So, setting your shoulder and coming down, pushing yourself back up. Nice and controlled. Engaging your core. All righty, ladies. I think we are good for a warm up. All right, so hit time. I'll go over the movements. Uh, we're gonna do four Tabatas. So a Tabata is four minutes long. We're gonna do four of them, so 16 minutes in total um, will be the workout. So we'll get our, our heart rates up and it'll be a good little workout. Uh, so Tabata meaning 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So eight times equals four minutes. So the first Tabata, we're gonna do four movements. So one movement, second movement, third movement, four movement, and we're gonna double that. And that will bring us to four minutes total. And in between each Tabata, we'll take a break, okay? So it's a minute, minute to 90 second break. Um, so the first movement of the pata, Tabata is a sprawl. So what you're gonna do is you're starting out in an athletic stance here. So down into a squat, arms up, and you're gonna uh, bring your feet back and bring your hands down into a plank position and then jump your heat, feet back up and stop here. So, okay. And so with that movement, if you can't do the jumping aspect of the movement, just slow it down and step your feet back. So you're here, you know, step your feet back, step your feet back, step it back in and stopping here. Okay. That one is an explosive movement, so you want to be focusing on speed and getting your heart rate up. Uh, second movement is prisoner squat jumps. So 
prisoner, meaning we're going to have our hands behind our back like this. And the reason we're going to have our hands behind our back is so that we could really use our legs and not use our um, use our arms. So keep all the work in the legs. So hands behind head, we're going to jump, exploding up into a squat jump, coming back down to about foot 90, exploding up and back down. Okay. If you can't do the jump with that one, just do regular squats. Okay. Third movement. And then do a kneel to knee drive. Okay. So starting in kneeling position, you're going to bring this leg up here and you're going to drive this knee up, it really engaging your core so you can keep balance. So here to here, back down, this leg's going to come up and then we're going to do a knee drive with that leg. So we're alternating legs each time. Once you get the momentum, you can pick up speed. Okay. If you can't do the knee lift, uh, portion of that workout, just do, um, just do high knees. Okay, just bring your knees up. Uh, fourth movement. We are gonna do in and outs. So a slight bend in the knee here. Slight bend in the knee and our stance is quite narrow here. And you're just gonna jump out, jump back in. So fast, it's gonna look like this. And it's gonna really get our heart rates up. If you can't do the jumping action of that movement, just slow down the movement, one leg at a time. Okay. All right, so those are the four movements for the first Tabata. What I'll do is we'll do the Tabata and then I'll go over the movements for the next Tabata as we're resting, okay? Sorry guys, I'm already sweating here. So I will get my timer started here. And we'll jump into the first Tabata. All right, so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of rest time, but really it's only four minutes per workout. Um, so if that helps at all. <laughs> so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight times. And we will start here. The first movement is the sprawls and you could just follow along with me, okay? And you guys could all hear me well, right? Awesome. Perfect. So we're gonna start in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Back into a plank and back up. Really engaging your core with this movement. You don't wanna have your hips sagging at all. Three, two, one. Rest. Next movement is prisoner squat jumps. So hands behind your head. Three, two, one. Exploding out of the squat. Really using those legs to explode. You got it, keep on going. Three, two, one. Rest. Next is the kneel to knee drive. Down kneel position, driving your knee up, back down. Opposite leg, driving your knee up, back down. Rest. In and outs is next. So slight bend in your knee. I'm gonna jump our legs and arms out. Keep on going, 10 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one. Good job. Back to sprawls. Three, two, one. Athletic stands, back into to plank, and then jump it back up. Good job, keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Prisoner squat jumps next. Starting in three, two, one. With these movements, really focus on your breathing. Keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job, ladies. Kneel to knee drive. Next. Starting in knee, kneeling position. Driving your knee up. Back down. Driving your knee up. Good job, ladies, keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Next is in and out. One, go. Slight bend the knee, jump in your leg, and arms out. Coming into narrow stance. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, we'll rest. We're gonna do that Tabata one more time. And then I'll go over the movements for the last two Tabatas. So we'll take a little rest here. How are you doing ladies? Those jumps are evil. Right? <laughs> it's harder when you can't use your arms for momentum. Yeah, I guess, eh? It's crazy how much I sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I usually turn my temperature down before I do these, I forgot. I've always been, been a sweaty gal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll start up in about 10 seconds here. You're going to do that exact to bad again, okay? All right, ladies, 10 seconds. Back into sprawls. Three, two, one, go. Really engaging your core with this one. Don't want the hips to be sagging. Good job, keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next into prisoner squat jumps. Three, two, one, explode. Explode. Job, ladies, keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Kneel to knee drive next. Starting in kneeling position. Three, two, one. Driving your knee up. Engaging your core so you can keep balance. As you can see, I'm using my arms to also help me keep balance. Oh, I messed up. Rest. In and out next. Starting in three, 
two, one, kneeling, coming up. Slight bend in the knees. Keep it up, ladies. We're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Back to sprawls. Starting in three, two, one. Go. Ten seconds, keep it up. Focus on your breathing. Three, two, one, rest. Back to prisoner squat jumps. Hands behind your head. Keep it up, ladies. Keep on going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Heel to knee drive. Next. Starting a new position. And drive. Up and drive. <clears throat> Focus on core engagement so you can keep yourself balanced. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, last movement. Then we get a break. In and out. Slight bend in the knee, jump in your legs out and arms. Almost there, keep it up. And you get a break. Three, two, one. Good job. We're halfway through. Take a break here. All right, I'm supposed to go over the Movements for the second Tabata. All right, four movements again. First movement is half burpees. So you're gonna come down and pop your feet back out into a planking position. Just like the first movement we did in that other Tabata, but then we're gonna jump our feet back in and then we're gonna add a jump to it, okay? So fast, it goes. If you can do that, just slow down the movement. So here, stepping feet back, stepping feet back, stepping feet in, stepping feet in, and then add a jump if you can. Second movement, calf jumps. So this one, hands behind your head, like the prisoner squat jumps in the first Tabata. So hands behind head, slight bend in knee. And when, what you wanna be doing is driving with our calves by pointing our feet, essentially being on our tiptoes and we're just jumping, jumping the whole time. Get our heart rates up and you'll feel that in your calves. If you need to slow that one down, you can just do calf raises. Okay. Third movement, mountain climber taps. So we're in the plank position. We're setting our shoulders. Every movement that we are on our arms like this, setting our shoulders, right? So sorry that I didn't go over that in the beginning. Um, so starting in plank position here, you're bringing the opposite knee to the opposite hand. So I'm here, really engaging your core. Don't want your hips to be sagging at all. So in core engagement and bringing opposite knee to hand. And with that one, if you can't do that, your core, sorry, if you're feeling like you're off balance, just do regular mountain climbers. So setting your shoulders and bringing your knee up like this, okay? Um, Fourth movement, narrow to wide squats, jump squats. So staying in low. So when you're switching before be, between the narrow squat and the wide squat, 
you're going to be switching down here. So if I'm coming from a narrow squat into a jump, coming back down into a narrow squat, coming into wide, jumping up, switching down in the bottom here, okay? Do you understand that? And we wanna make, making sure that you're really exploding up, using your arms for momentum in that, in that movement and landing softly on the balls of your feet. If you can't do that, and you don't wanna do the jumping motion of that movement, slow down the movement. Just do a narrow squat, come out to a wide squat, up, narrow, just slow it down. All right, ladies, those are the four movements. We'll jump right into this once I give myself a little wipe down here. I'll take a little sip of my water and then we'll start. I have so much respect for people who do this um, all the time, <laughs> who speak and um, as they're doing the workout. Okay, so first movement, half burpees. We starting with the second, the third Tabata, technically, um, here in 10 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, go. So back into plank, up and jump. Focus on core engagement, focus on your breathing, 10 seconds. Five, three, one, rest. Next is the calf jumps. So slight bend in the knees here, hands behind your legs and just jumping up on your tiptoes. Ten seconds, keep on going. Three, two, one. Good job. Rest. Next is the mountain climber taps. Starting in three, two, one. In plank position, set your shoulders opposite knee to hand. If you can do it fast, do it fast. As long as your core is engaged. Keep on going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, force moving, narrowed wide squats. Starting in three, two, one. So narrow, up, wide, narrow, wide. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, back into the half burpees. Two, one, go. Keep it up, ladies. Keep on going. Ten seconds. You got it. Keep on driving. Three, two, one, rest. Calf jumps next. Hands behind your head. Slight bend in the knee. Jumping up on your tiptoes. Focus on your breathing. 10 seconds. Keep on powering through, you got it. Three. Two, one, rest. All right, ladies, mountain climber taps. Three, two, one, go. Set your shoulders, opposite knee to hand. Really engage your core. Five seconds, keep on going. Three. Two, one, rest. Fourth movement, narrow to wide squats. 
two, one. Narrow squat, jump. Switching at the bottom to wide, jump. Narrow, jump. Switching to wide, jump. Five seconds. Rest. Good job. We'll take a rest here. How is that? Oh, <clears throat> good. We have one more of those, just four minutes, and then we'll be done. Yeah, I don't know how you do it talking the whole time you're working out. I know, it's, it's kind of hard, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> I admire you for that. Whew. All right, ladies, we're starting up here with our last Tabata and we'll be done. So we're gonna do all four of those movements one more time, okay? So we're starting out with the half burpee. Starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Focus on your breathing, ladies. You got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Calf jumps next. Hands behind your head. Slide bend in the knees. And jumping on our tiptoes. Focus on your breathing. Keep on moving. You got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Whew. All right, ladies. Mountain climber taps next. Down in plank position. Set your shoulders. Hands directly under your shoulders. And tap the opposite knee. Ladies, keep on going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Rest. Narrow to wide squats next. Three, two, one. Narrow squat, explode. Wide squat, explode. Narrow squat, explode. Fuck. up ladies keep on powering through almost there rest rest good job back up back up to half repeats starting in three two one go good job ladies Keep it up. Keep on going. Power it through. Three, two, one. Good job. Next is the calf jumps. Hands behind your head. And we're gonna jump. Job leg is almost there. Go, go, go. Don't give up. Three, two, one. Good job. Mountain climbers tapped. Next. Three, two, one. And go. Opposite knee to hands. 
Engaging your core. Don't let your hips sag. 10 seconds. Keep on going. You got it. Three, two, one. Rest. One more movement. Narrow to wide squats. And then we're done. All right, narrow squat, explode. Wide. Remember, you're switching at the bottom. Keep on going, we're almost done. Five, four, three. Good job, you got it. Done. Whew. Great work, ladies. Thankfully, that's all we got for today. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. that was good. I always get a nice sweat on during hits. Oh, no. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh. So yeah, I'd recommend a warm down if you can, ladies. Do a little recovery stretch if you'd like. Do you do uh, do you do squats workouts too? Um, I I have been sometimes depending on if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to, but if he's got an arm heavy one, I don't because my left shoulder is screwed up. So then I'll yeah. just do squats or, or something. Awesome. Well, thank you ladies for coming out. Thank you for doing this. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Cool. All right. Have a good day, ladies. Yeah. Cool.